Hello, everybody. This is Ben for Ben. Welcome back to another video. Today is Christmas, so Merry Christmas to everybody. Um, please like and subscribe. This is gonna be a great video. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be creating the best possible MLB roster. So we're gonna go through here, and I'm gonna say which player I think is the very, very best at every single position. Again, I'm going to say it one more time, like this video, subscribe to the channel. Remember, we're trying to get to 15 subscribers by the end of the year. Merry Christmas. Starting off with our catcher. Now, we can click over here, see all the guys in the league. Now, this is going to be an unpopular opinion. Um, I know a lot of people think that JT Romuto is the best catcher in the league, but I think it's Adley Rutschman. He's so young. He's a switch hitter. He's going to improve so much this year. I think by the end of 2023, he's going to be the best catcher in baseball. Moving on to our first baseman. This is definitely Freddie Freeman. He's so good. Such a good player. Freddie Freeman is crazy good. He um, should have, well, I'm not going to say should have. That, that went to Paul Goldschmidt. I think that's a fair. But he had such a good season last year. You could definitely argue that it should go to Paul Goldschmidt. But I have to give this to Freddie Freeman. At second base, there are some good options here. You could go with Marcus Simeon. You could go with Cattell Marte. You could go with um, even somebody like Jazz Chisholm. But I do think that it is Jose Altuve. He is just so good. Such a good player. Um, Yeah. And I think that he is definitely the best third baseman in this league. Third base is the one that I am going to talk about a little bit longer. There's really three guys you could go with here. You could go with um, Nolan Arenado. You could go with Manny Machado. These are both really, really good players. Manny Machado is going to get a bunch of money, if, whether it's from the Padres or another team. Nolan Arenado, obviously one of the best third basemen in the league. But who I'm going to go with? I'm going to go with Jose Ramirez. I think he's so good, so underrated for the Cleveland Guardians. Led them all the way to the playoffs. I think they're definitely winning that division next year. Moving on to the shortstops. One of the most stacked positions in all of baseball. There are so many good players out there. But this is pretty obvious to me. This has to go to Trey Turner. He's just all around a good player. He can hit for power. He can hit for contact. He's fast. He can play defense. He's just so good. And he's going to be on the Phillies this year. Seeing them already make it to the World Series and adding these new guys, they are definitely one of the favorites to win the World Series this year. Moving on to the outfield. The outfield in baseball is just so stacked this year. I'm sure we're going to have a crazy, crazy looking outfield. And there are so many good left fielders. There's guys. There's just so many good guys. It's it's hard to see who is the best one. But I think it has to be Kyle Schwarber. He's just so good. He played so good with the Phillies last year as a Cubs fan. I love Kyle Schwarber. He helped us the year we won the World Series. I think Kyle Schwarber is so good in center. As much as I would love to put somebody like Julio Rodriguez here, um, one of the best players of all time, this has to go to Mike Trout. Next, in right field, obviously, Aaron Judge. He's making so much money. He's so good. Coming up a 60 yeah, like a 60 home run season. He's been incredible, and he's totally going to keep this up. So this is going to be our starting lineup, the batting order. Let's go through the batting order. We'll do that at the end of the video. Moving on to starting pitching. Our ace, this is very obvious to me, has to be Jacob deGrom. He is the best pitcher in the league, talent-wise. Obviously, there are some injury concerns with him, but he, heading over to the Rangers, he is the best pitcher in the league. He is so good. He is going to have such a good season this year. Our second pitcher in the rotation, I am going to have to go with. This is a tricky one. There are obviously so many good pitchers in the league. But I think that this just has to be Justin Verlander. He's coming off a Cy Young season. He's just such a good pitcher. I think he's going to be so good this year. Um, with our third starting pitcher rotation spot, we are going to come with Max Scherzer, an amazing pitcher. So, so good. 
He is incredible. And he is going to have a good season this year. Obviously, we're looking a little bit old with this rotation, but it's definitely going to be great. Max Scherzer, I don't think he might regress a little, but he's still going to be light out. Our next pitcher, coming off another Cy Young, Sandy Alcantara. He's going to be in the four spot for us. He would be an ace on pretty much every uh, MLB team, but he's in the four spot, which is just so crazy. And our final starting pitcher, you guys know I have to put him on here, Shohei Otani. He's a top five pitcher and a top five hitter. He is probably the most interesting player to ever play the game of baseball, and he has to be on this team. Now with the bullpen, let's see. Obviously, we're going to make him our closer. Edwin Diaz, coming from an amazing, amazing year. He has been crazy. Now, we're going to add, I think, one of the best middle relievers in the league is definitely Rizal Iglesias. The Braves got him from the Angels for almost nothing. I mean, obviously, they're playing him a bunch of money, but he is so good. He obviously, he had a shaky start this season, but he brought it back, and he definitely deserves a spot on this team. Our second pitcher out of the bullpen just has to, has to be Liam Hendricks. One of the most dominating pitchers in the league. He can get you through an inning without giving him any runs. He had a little bit of a down season, 2022, but I think he's going to be back on his game, back on track, 2023. The third guy I'm going to put on here, Josh Hader. Obviously, he wasn't the best but he is just so, so dominating. He is going to be so, so good for um, any team that he's on, especially this team, like the Padres. Um, he is just such a good reliever. He's going to be so good this year. Now, what we're going to have, our next pitcher, our final relief pitcher. This is going to be tricky. I am going to give it to... Why not do it? Let's do a young guy. I'm going to give this spot. This is going to be an unpopular opinion. We're going to give this to Andres Munoz. He is such a good pitcher. He throws so hard. He's going to be nasty. And I think that he has a great spot on this team. Now, our DH. This is the designated hitter. So right here, obviously, I think this is an obvious pickup. We have to put your Don Alvarez, the best DH in the league. He is so good. Now let's set up the batting order for this team. The pitching is in this rotation. Um, the closer will be Edwin Diaz, but let's set up the batting order. Obviously, our first player has to be Trey Turner. With that elite speed, he can get on base at a very elite rate. He, we're going to put him at number one. Number two, he hits here with the Dodgers, Freddie Freeman. Great two-hitter. He can hit for a little bit of power, gets on base so well. And now at the three, we're going to put Aaron Judge, one of the best power hitters in the league, maybe even ever. He is going to bring in those two players and just hit so many tanks. Next up at the four spot, we're going to put Jordan. Just such a power guy. He can hit absolute tanks. He is the DH on this team for a reason. He's going to be at number four. Number five, we have to put Mike Trout high in the order. He's just so good. We're going to put him there. At number six, we're going to put Jose Ramirez. Great switch hitting bat. Just crazy, crazy player. At number seven, we will put Jose Altuve. Number eight, is going to be Adley Rutschman. Such such a good hitter, switch hitter. He's going to make so much improvement, but I don't think he can be a top hitter with all these other players yet. Also a great fielder, which is why he's on here partially. And here we have Kyle Schwarber rounding it out at the nine. This team is so, so good. It's going to be crazy. Obviously, we've spent... 419 million in salary cap, which is crazy. But this is going to be the team. All right, let's start the outro. This is the team. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Merry Christmas. Make sure to like and subscribe if you think this team would win a World Series.
Bench warmer Ben, out.